All right, guys, uh, Jason here again. Um, if you wanna find me, uh, you can find my website. It's uh, Prime Collectibles. Um, I'm on YouTube and uh, my Instagram is, I believe, Prime Collectibles. I don't know, search for it. I'm sure you'll find me. Anyways, uh, this is an exciting day because I have uh, a statue that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, any of you who've seen other uh, uh, reviews of mine or my uh, room tour know that I'm a huge, huge Batman fan. The Batman's my favorite. And so my favorite villain, of course, is who? The Joker, obviously. Uh, so my Bermejo Joker has finally showed up today a little bit later than others, but uh, I'm still pumped to have him. And uh, I just unboxed them and I put them together, but I haven't really even looked at them yet. So I'm going to kind of do that uh, with you guys today. And uh, we'll go through it and uh, see my thoughts. But as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, I'm pretty impressed. So let's first of all start with uh, the boxes. Boxes, as you can imagine, from Prime 1, two massive heavy boxes. They're not the biggest that I've got. That uh, award goes to um, uh, Swamp Thing, who I haven't even opened or looked at yet. But I'll do that soon. But anyways, typical. The, the art boxes, uh, you know, I haven't even pulled these out. Anyways, I mean, I'm sure they're just like any other Prime 1 art box probably have some uh, some stylized images of Joker on there. Uh, typical uh, uh, styrofoam packaging, nothing too special here. Prime one, I don't think that they take uh, particular pride in their um, packaging, as I've mentioned before, but it is what it is. Excuse the dishes in the sink there. Um, but let's have a look at Lee Bermejo, Joker. Wow, wow, wow. My goodness, he's good. So I didn't get the uh, the EX that comes with a couple extra portraits. Um, it's not because I didn't want to. It's because it was sold out by the time I uh, uh, caught wind of this guy. And I'm not super disappointed. I would have liked to have had... Uh, there is a portrait that has his mouth open that I think looks killer. Uh, but I didn't get him. And uh, it is what it is. I still love this portrait. It's probably the one that I would... Uh, display him with most of the time so not the end of the world but look at that so just before we go into the statue in more detail obviously in the box we ha you have the usual stuff instruction guide um, usually prime ones instruction guides kind of suck but this guy is really easy to put together just a few pieces uh, and then an ad for uh, the batman batcave version uh, which i do have on pre-order as well Okay, so let's take a look at this guy once again. Awesome. Really big, really impressive. Um, I've been waiting for a good Joker statue, uh, well, since I started collecting, which isn't that long ago, admittedly. But, um, you know, I looked at what was around and what has been created. And, you know, there have been a lot of good statues, don't get me wrong, but just not the Joker that I imagine not my joker as they say uh you know that the the prime one or sorry not the prime one this the sideshow pieces look a little bit too cartoony or they look a little bit too um silly for me i get it that the cart that the uh, uh uh joker that a lot of people grew up with was from the uh from the the batman animated series who is a very silly joker and even some of the in the comics he can he's definitely silly but I like a more mature Joker because this guy is a psychopath and the silliness should always be, uh, you know, tempered with the fact that he's silly, but he'll have no problem doing disgusting, uh, depraved things to you uh, at the drop of a hat. And that is what I see when I look at this guy. Look at that portrait. This literally looks like a psycho killer with a sadistic but great sense of humor. That's kind of what I see when I look at his portrait here. Like that's what Joker should be, you know. Uh, look at the detailing in the in the uh, slice of the mouth. Oh, what is that? Is that a piece of his tongue in there, or is that just flesh that's been? Ugh. Anyways, whatever. Disgusting and awesome. Uh, I like how the uh, the face paint looks like it's kind of almost. Um, it's coming off, it's drying, and you can see the skin underneath, or maybe it's just uh, bleached skin that's that's uh, permanently like that, but it looks sort of dry and, I don't know, almost decaying. Wow, it's just, like, this is freaking amazing. 
the detail on the hair, like the, the sculpting is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Sometimes hair uh, is really, I mean, I'm sure it's really tough to do with statues, but, and sometimes they pull it off and sometimes they don't. This is, this is a really intricate, like look at how it all folds in and over itself. It, it kind of weaves under, uh, uh, different chunks weave under others. And it looks almost a little bit like, like it could be oily, like he hasn't sh showered in months, which is perfect. Anyways, I mean, oh, the, the eyes, that sort of purpley blue of his eyes and one's a little bit bigger, just that kind of psycho look. The teeth are well done, a little bit dirty, wow. Oh man, it's fantastic. Uh, okay, so now let's go in and look at his jacket. The jacket has a really nice textured leather look to it. Uh, this is something that I find Prime, well, Prime One always does well. So does XM, is they do this tex textured uh, leather look really, really well. Like this looks like it could be mixed media, although of course it's not. Um, you know, getting into the shirt as well. I noticed that there's a little bit of a gap in his neck here. I, I That's as close as I can get it. Not super noticeable, but it's a bit unfortunate. Interesting. Oh, look at his neck. Wow. So the detailing in the shirt, again, it really looks like it could be mixed media, although it's not, uh, which just is a credit to the uh, to the sculptor and the painting. Um, a little vet, a little uh, leather, different colored leather, like a brown leather vest in here. The buttons look great. Let's see if we can get a close up of them. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that button's like half tucked into a ripped uh, hole. That's fucking awesome. Um, the gloves, again, leather gloves that match the jacket, but I like how you can see the gray skin underneath. That's such a cool, uh, cool little detail. Oh man, just, just so well done all around. Um, and then we get down to the pants and they have this sort of, um, man, I don't even know what you would, what you would call this material that it, that it looks like. It looks like a, looks like a shiny, like a shiny woven um, material. I, I'm not sure how to describe it. I mean, you can see it here. Uh, it looks like it could be cloth, but kind of a, uh, uh, iridescent cloth. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's really, really impressive in person. I hope it's coming across that way on, uh, on camera as well. And then as we come down, we look at the shoes, they're tattered. They look like some sort of animal skin, which is a really cool, uh, um, uh, detail as well. Even like the stitching on the, the bottom of the boot looks, I'm not sure if I've seen a statue that from toe to head looks so real. I, I, I struggle to think of another one that I, that I have, even other prime one statues that just from the top to the bottom look like, look at that. There's a, there's a little dent out of this shoe. Like it's just the details unreal. It is unreal. Let's let's look around at the back here. Uh, again, forgive my mess in the background. We just got back from a six month uh, trip away, so there's shit everywhere. But it is what it is. Like, look at the detail on the jacket and the dynamic kind of flow of it. Oh, that's awesome. That is so great. Look at the look at the folds and textures in the jacket. Man, I don't do sculpture. I do draw and paint. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that I just love to draw and paint. It's just so interesting. And I would imagine that the sculptor must have just had a blast with it as well. That's I like this little chain around the side of his leg, his his wallet chain. Even that looks real. Like, man. Now I understand what all the hype was about for this statue. You know, I, I, I always thought he looked great, but people were just going nuts when they were getting him, when, when he was arriving to other collectors. And now I get it. It's just everything is done perfectly. Everything's done perfectly. I, I haven't, other than that little seam on, on the neck, which is probably just uh, unique to mine, unfortunately, everything is perfect. The bat symbol here scratched out with an X. <laughs> Awesome. Base. Prime 1 bases are never... Oh, wow. What is this? 
Oh, dude. Is that Nightwing or Robin? Ah, that's awesome. I didn't even know that was there. And then the crucified Batman in front. Like, that's... Oh, man, that's so cool. And he's all his mouth is all torn up. It almost looks... Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like Joker has gone in and, and like, shredded the face of Batman. This, this side looks a little bit more normal. And then this side... Oh, no, but he's got... Yeah, he's, it's like he scratched a smile into his face. Wow, that's so, so cool. And what I was going to say is Prime 1 Studios are not known for their bases, especially the sub base. They're usually pretty, pretty straightforward, sometimes a little bit boring even. But this is awesome. And here's another one. I, can't, I don't remember if that's the same as the other side. Maybe one's Nightwing, one's Robin. Uh, who knows? But anyways, like, the detail is freaking amazing. Okay, I get it. I see why everybody loves the statue so much. It's just it's just the perfect representation of Joker in concept and it's the perfect execution. It really is. Like look at look at the pose from every angle is just awesome. It yeah, I'm speechless. Well, I'm not. I know I'm talking a lot about it, but like you know what I mean? It's just that good. There is not an, look at that. Every single angle of this could be a painting. It is truly a work of art. If I ever have to sell more of my statues, if I ever have to sell my one third scale line or my one third scale uh, collection, this will probably, this and this and Superman, Hush Superman will be the last two to go. This is probably, yeah, this is, this is within my top three statues that I own and I own a bunch. Okay, boo, chill. Here's the alternate portrait that I did get that just comes with the regular and that's, that's cool too. I don't know why my cat loves to, I think he's, I think he was destined to be a star. He likes being in the spotlight. Um, this portrait's pretty cool too. Uh, I think it has, I think it's a reference to, uh, the comic that this is from. I'm not sure if it's from Damned or another one of the ones that are, are, uh, are illustrated by Bermejo. I actually haven't read them. I know it's, it's a travesty, but I haven't, uh, uh, read any of, of those comics. Uh, I will, but look at that. That's another really cool portrait. I, I won't. I won't feature it, probably. I, I can't see myself swapping out for it just because I like a more classic look. But it's pretty awesome too. Yeah, that's just the stand. Okay, guys. I mean, I don't think I need to do final thoughts because I'm sure by the way I've been gushing over the statue, you get an idea of, of my thoughts uh, already. It is... It's the best... It's, it's one of the best statues ever made, I think. Truly mind-blowing. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks again for, uh, for um, taking a look at this statue for the first time with me. And again, uh, uh, I have a uh, YouTube account and an um, uh, Instagram account. Uh, that I post some of my stuff on and obviously uh, I post a lot uh, uh, through Rad Titan as well. So um, check me out and definitely subscribe to Rad Titan if you haven't already. Thanks guys.